السلام عليكم. The lesson today is about the types of English verbs. What is a verb in English or in Arabic or in French or any language? A verb, it's a word or sometimes a set of words. And that word, most of the time, it shows an action. For example, when it is a word, the verb run. He runs, I run, we run, and we can put it in the past. I run yesterday, uh, and I can put it even in the future, etc. This is why we say a verb is a word or a set of words. Set of word means like here, is going. I have two, two words, is and going. Has been painting, has been painting. All these are words okay feeling so a word is uh, sorry a verb is a word that shows an action like run play eat uh, walk etc paint and we can conjugate this verb we can put it in the present or in the past or in the future A verb is not always linked to action, الحركة. Sometimes a verb is linked to feeling. For example, the verb love, it's not an action. The verb envies, the verb hate, the verb like. It's, all these are verbs, yes. But they do not express any action. They tell us about a feeling. Okay, this is number two to define what is a verb. Another definition of the verb is that it can express a state of being. Wujud. So it's not linked to action. It's not linked to the state of being. It's not linked to action. It's not linked to feeling. But it is linked to a state of being. When I say, for example, I am, you are, he seems, I seem. Are these verbs expressing action? No. Are they expressing feelings? No. They express a state of being. So this is what... we can say about the definition of, of the verb, right? And if you have your hand out, you move on. Sorry, I forgot, I thought I am in the classroom. Anyway, it's not a handout now, it's either you have an online version or you have the booklet in front of you. Then we move on to an action or When, we, when I say action, it means dynamic verb. Dynamic means action. What is an action verb? Now, in the beginning, it was an introduction. And now we are giving details about, we are explaining the introduction. We said before, a verb is a word that expresses action. All right. A verb is expressing a dynamic Uh, a dynamic action. An action verb expresses what? It expresses an activity that a person or a thing or an animal can do. For example, li or you, he eats cake. Eats here is something that li is doing. You know, when you have something in your mouth, your mouth is doing something. The bear, it's an animal, the bear chased the salmon in the shallow rapids. Chased here is a verb and it's an action verb. It's, it's, it's an activity. Then the other distinction that we have is a stative verb. Stative verb, we said before, a state of being. It's a state, hala. It's not an action. 
So a stative verb can express a state rather than action. Hala and not action. It relates to a state of being, wujud, or thought, fikra, or an emotion, atifa. For example, when I say I am at home, where am I? Where, where do I exist? Existence. So it's, it's a state of being. Am here is a stative verb. Believes here is a stative verb. Believes is connected to thought. Third one, he feels happy. Feels is connected to feeling, emotion. So it's not an action verb. It's, it's not a dynamic verb. Lee likes cake. F likes, it's not a dynamic. It's not an action verb. It is a verb that is connected to the state of my feeling, like. So this is the big division. Action, stative. This is the big division, A and B. Now we are going to have some subdivisions within the big divisions. Transitive and intransitive verbs. What does it mean? Transitive verbs are all those verbs that require a direct object. I wrote what? I wrote a book. I baked what? I baked a cake. I told a joke. I told what? Notice book, cake, joke are direct object their function is di their, their function is direct object and if you don't know what is a direct object you have to go back to the lesson that we had in the classroom uh, where we studied the noun types and the noun function so what is a transitive verb a transitive verb is all the time requiring a direct object. Intransitive verbs is the opposite. Intransitive, verb, intransitive verbs do not require any direct object. When I say the grammar book fell, when I say I cried, when I say you laughed, I don't have any direct object. سقط الكتاب بكيت ضحك like in Arabic we say متعدي this is not متعدي it doesn't need a direct object but when I say in the beginning I wrote and I stop you will ask me what did you write you want to know what when I tell you I baked and I stop, my sentence is incomplete. So it's incorrect. I baked, you want to know what? When I say I told and I stop, my sentence is not full. It's not correct in English. You want to know what I told you to do. But when I say I cried, no, I don't need what. I cried. Back eight, I tried. I cried, sorry. All right, so that's the first difference between transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. Notice all these verbs are dynamic verbs. Wrote, baked, told, fell, cried, laughed. Ditransitive. Like transitive verbs, ditransitive verbs take a direct object. All right. So it's like transitive, but they also take an indirect object. So they've got direct and indirect object. This indirect object always comes before 
the direct object and it usually refers to someone who benefits from the action. I'll give you the, I explain to you the example. Send your wife a card. Send your wife a card. Here, wife, send your wife a card. Send your wife what? A card. This is the direct object, okay? Send to whom? To your wife. You remember in the study of functions of the noun, when I say to or for, to whom, to for whom, or to what or for what, it's an indirect object. So here, send is not intransitive or transitive, but it's ditransitive. It requires two. If I say, for example, the sentence, send your wife, and I stop, you want to know what? If I say, send a card, you want to know to who? Same thing for the example, my husband brought me some flowers. Me is the indirect object, flowers is the direct object, like before, my husband brought me some flowers my husband brought me what flowers is the direct object brought to who to me it's indirect object okay so that is the defin that is the explanation of this category then we move on to ambitransitive verb an ambitransitive verb is a verb that is both intransitive and transitive. When I say intransitive, doesn't require a direct object. When I say transitive, it requires a direct object. So what is ambitransitive? It is both this and that. They can act as any of these types of verbs. It depends on the context. For example, the little boy broke the lamp. Broke here is transitive. My own, my, my oven broke yesterday. Here is intransitive. So the verb break, if you want to say, if you want to define what is the verb break, break is ambitransitive. Why? Because sometimes it depends on the context. Sometimes it can be transitive, like here, the little boy broke what? So I need a direct object. But in the second, no, my oven broke yesterday. Uh, like in Arabic, al-forn, uh, al-forn in kasara. So the verb, the verb break, the verb break, if you want to define what is the verb break, the category in English, you can, you can say that break is an ambitransitive verb because some, it depends on the context. Sometimes it can be transitive, sometimes it can be intransitive. Um, open, the verb open. She opened a new shoe store. Opened here what? She opened what? Fatahat mada. She opened a new shoe store. Here it is, it is transitive. But look at open in the second sentence. The store opened early today. Do I have any direct object in the in this second sentence? No, the store the store opened in Fatahat. The store in Fatahat. Yet Fathat. I don't need a direct object. So the verb open can be sometimes transitive. So be careful. Be careful. It depends on your context. In the context, if you have a direct object, that verb is transitive. If you don't have, you don't need a direct object, it is intransitive. The verb pay. So pay, maybe some people will say, okay, pay is a, a transitive verb. No, it's not always transitive. It depends on the context. I paid the mechanic. I paid who? I paid the mechanic. So it means the mechanic is direct object. All right. If I if I tell you I paid, and I stop, my sentence is is in, incomplete. 
so it's not correct in English. You want to know who I paid, who, the mechanic. So paid here is transitive. We already paid. Look, paid here has changed. It's no longer transitive. He is intransitive. We already paid. In Arabic, we're like uh, we say, خلصنا. Uh, okay? صافي خلصنا. Okay? دفعنا الثمن. دفعنا الثمن. Okay? We already paid. So, paid here is intransitive verb. So, th there are some verbs that you have to be careful. Sometimes they can be transitive and sometimes they can be intransitive. Now, the second class of verbs is called resultative verbs. And you have resultative, you have a result. Sometimes they are called also attributive, ditransitive verbs. We'll keep just the word resultative. Yeah, it's simple. So what is a resultative verb? It's a, a verb that takes a direct object and an object complement. And you know what is an object complement? You have to go back to your lesson on the, the functions of, of the noun and you will remember what I explained to you. So this is the resultative verb. Okay. He painted the barn red. The jury found the defendant guilty. He painted, he painted what? He painted the door. If a barn is difficult for you, he painted the door. He painted what? The, the door or the barn is my direct object. Red, red here is an object complement that tells me, that completes, that tells me, that describes barn. Barn is red. He painted the barn to be red. Sabara, the barn, had the mekan, ahmar. Ahmar is an object complement. It completes, it tells me, it modifies barn. The jury found the defendant guilty. The jury found who? The defendant is my direct object. They found the defendant and I need something. I need an object complement. Guilty. Guilty here, it completes defendant. Notice that red and guilty are adjectives. The jury found في المحكمة وجدوا وجدوا المتهم مدنبا متهم مدنبا مدنب is an object complement so the verb paint and find here are called in English resultative verbs okay and I stop at this stage um, to continue the next part another time good luck والله يحفظنا ويحفظكم امين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته